What's the nastiest thing you did for money? I worked at a call center. It was the most degrading work I've ever done. I once drunkenly reached into a piss trough at a music festival, when some rich sob threw two separate 100 bills in there to see who'd grab it. Little did he know I would have probably done it if it was 20s too lol. Telemarketing. Sold vacations over the phone so people would go to Destin, Florida and would have to sit and listen to salesmen pitch timeshares. I feel dirty thinking about it. Working on the active face of a landfill. To get to the work sites, you oftentimes would have to navigate on foot through the active face ACA where the trash is dumped. You can't comprehend all the sights and smells at once too many shapes, colors, and stinking wet slop. So you look down at your feet. You plod carefully around hoping you don't slip and fall onto the garbage, which may stick you broken glass, needles, or rusty rebar if you were to be so careless. The municipal garbage is smelly but tolerable. It's really the construction debris that's noxious. The construction debris trucks come and loudly dump a lot of somethings and the thick white dust that comes off it leaves you gasping. You lose a little bit of your hearing every day and you get more used to the bad air. And you pray to God that you get out of the dumps for good. I got paid to fuck a sex worker in front of her disabled client, who liked to watch. Two hour session and I do walk away with 200. Once per month for about a year. It was in 1996 and I was a student, so it was good money. Participated in a study for a lotion you rub on your boobs to make them bigger. Not even joking. For two months I had to rub this lotion twice a day and then once a week go to the clinic so someone could measure every aspect of my boobs. Not just size. Distance between nipples, distance from chin to nipple, circumference of them. It was so embarrassing and in the end I had the placebo. But I made 500 to pay my rent back in 2002. I worked in a kangaroo skin tannery, grading kangaroo scrotum by size, for sorting into either pet food or for coin purses for tourists through ball bags stink and the ticks are massive. Translated very erotic love letters one woman, who was cheating on her husband, wrote to and received from her lover in France. Edit, I didn't expect this story to arouse so much interest, so I think some background is due. It happened around 1999-2001 when the internet wasn't widely available in our country, at least. They were exchanging regular snail mail letters. From what I gathered, the lady used to stay in France for a while where she had met her beau and started an affair. She had some very basic knowledge of French but needed help. You know how sometimes people can casually chat in a language, but a large written text freaks them out. I was in my early 20s and my customer was past 40, so you can imagine the cringiness of the situation. She would sometimes bring a letter and ask me to read an on-the-fly translation to her. As for the salacious details, I really don't remember much. It was generally like remember how we did this and that. I often dream of doing that again etc. Basically, it was like that song Dylan wrote for Haley in Modern Family only in French. Not me, but my partner met some creepy old guy in his car to have sex for 100 when he was 15 then he made a run for it with the money before they did anything, then met up with me, asked me out on a date, and we had our first date with money stolen from a pedo fast forward a few years, we're still together. I've rated guys dick pics for them before. It started as a joke but then dudes were sending 20 to have theirs rated. I would score them based on a fuckton of criteria and give feedback. It was hilarious fun, but also ended up with some really weird ass dicks. Let medical students practice genital and rectal exams on me. In fact I'm literally sitting here in my medical gown and waiting for the next student to come. Edit, I realized my typo now everyone. I meant to write come. Cooked maggots, I worked for a company that made natural pest control and natural animal feed. My job was to cook maggots for the natural bird feed they made. This was actually one of my favorite jobs to do for that company. Cleaned up the poop that had been smeared all over the men's restroom at the grocery store where I worked when I was 16. Zoomip E provided by the manger who told me you're the only other male working today and am not cleaning that up. Knowing what I know now, they should have brought in a hazardous waste crew to deal with it. Telemarketing. I know. I should be ashamed. I tested medications because I was in need. I will never do it again. I'm a nurse so I've cleaned up shit, piss, vomit, other bodily fluids. Gotten punched in the face, kicked, verbally assaulted also have provided post-mortem care and medical treatment to genuinely bad people, because it's part of my job as in sex offenders, violent people, etc. Gotten spit at, pooped and peed on, coughed on intentionally. Wouldn't recommend it lol. Suicide cleanup, which is part of my job, my first day working for a moving company in Boston. I was driving under a bridge at the same time as a dude who was jumping off to kill himself. I was going maybe 70 mph. He exploded on the front of the truck. 
I was 18 and it still fucks with me 20 years later. Cleaned up vomit in a movie theater bathroom 5 days a week. Pulled the liner out of my boss horse pond. It was misery. Slogging in rank water up to my chest, water full of algae and decaying horseshit, in 100 f beating sun and 95 humidity and a persistent swarm of mosquitoes. Some got in my ears, eyes and mouth as I worked. I stank of horse pond for a week, 